Alright. Okay, so um Okay. Hi guys. <laughs> uh my name is Alison and I write poetry as a kind of like a side uh side gig for me, like a, some sort of hobby while I tackle everyday issues with being as a software engineer at a tech company. So uh, I started writing poetry two years back as like a thing to express my emotions because I think certain feelings and thoughts when I kind of speak in a conversation, they just kind of lose its effect. So to write them in a poem will encapsulate their essence, you know, it just strengthens them. So um, usually I write about uh, uh, civil uh, social movement and even what it means to be a human. It's like a, a very wide genre that I do, nothing specific yet. And where can you find my work? Uh, on, mostly on Instagram. So it, my handler is uh, at Addison underscore LSL. And currently I'm slowly uh, building a, uh, like a poetry gallery to post my work on. And sooner or later, I will start doing a spoken word uh, album, put it on SoundCloud or anywhere. But I'll surely include the link on my Instagram. So please stay tuned. Uh, today I've uh, prepared a lineup of three poems and the lineup is titled Waves. So when you think about waves, you imagine an ocean full of uncertainties that you that will take you somewhere either in or out of a storm. Uh, waves could also be the electromagnetic waves around us transmitting data across Wi-Fi to reach people over long distances, symbolizing modern day communication and connection especially during the pandemic and global isolation. Uh, lastly, waves also carry the sentiment and passion of humans from the epicenter of social movement to other societies and nations, transcending borders and differences until we vibrate to its frequency as one. Uh, so without further ado, I'll begin with this first piece titled The Silence Speaks Back. This life I thought mine, gaze deeper into its singularity. You find a country of renegades, borderless castaways, confounded, silence. In guerrillas we march, toting banners, flying red, dogged pride versus riot armies, avenging fallen comrades whose voices I hear now spoken to you in bricks. Light is unity, our colored identity reflected lucid on suspended prisms below a watery sun. Together we illuminate, apart we wither. In your monochromatic judgment, beguile to sanctify life on earth in the name of religion and tradition, while cursing ours for selfish righteousness. Open your eyes and see, we are unlike the heathens of Sodom, only rapists and barbarians pray, yet you mistake their false devotion to be holier than our pursuits for faithful longing. Beyond histories, revised a thousand times, bodies hewn from alabaster or charcoal, lies a human just like you. Neither skin defines the guillotine's path, nor bloodline a scapegoat for your injustice built by pillage privilege. Our mother tongue, adulterated yet sacred, severing them on your shores is mutiny to the ships that ferried us to promised lands. Don't expect us to hide or be muzzled in this pandemic. If we are the virus, you are the blinded jury, exalting murderers of flesh and earth. Though distant relatives across millennia, we will smite without mercy those seducing our daughters with midlife crisis lust. Some of us play with matches, tightrope between semicolon and period, but not every lit fuse is a bushfire waiting for you, reckless fireman. Mind your intentions or your pity drowns reminding us we are neither a glass half full nor empty, but the pool in a chamber too rigid for our molecules craving freedom, too clear, thick for hopeless belief to break and exit. 
we scream at voices dead, alive, ours, yours, not spirits, spare the exorcist a summon. Holy water cannot purge the devils feasting in our heads. Look around, I'll kin your neighbours, fathers and brothers scaling spires, tunnelling sewers, children in rags, not uniforms, while yours claim their seats round banquets and scholars. You have much that we don't, why bind us still demanding more? Bruised fingers toiled day and night, blistered feet brought paradise closer, starved mouths salted on white rice, in cages we huddled from your castles, our sentences, our crime, your paranoia. Are we not worthy of liberty to our ticking mortality? You strive to expire sooner than yours. At least we converse in loud privacy, unsub, uncensored, unabashed. Heed our ire, your faints can't fool us anymore. Centuries we took your blows, it's time our wounds scar you, imparting humanity missing from your hearts. Uh, I came up with this poem to reflect on the struggles and civil issues experienced by LGBTQ plus people, uh, migrants in Malaysia during the crackdown to control the spread of the virus, uh, racism such as the Black Lives Matter currently, the hashtag, and also the ever prevalent child marriage. So the title itself meant passive bystanders are starting to speak up and join in the fight for justice. So uh, my next poem is titled Frequencies. Uh, okay. Can you hear me through decibels, condensing, stretching across the void, home to kaleidoscopes of waves, rolling over cities of mortar and cold sand, rippling pages up boulevards, humming echoes of the departed, their spheres of invisible light, emissaries to estranged lands. Can you notice my eyes, speaking a sign language the mask has taught me, a student behind crystal panes flashing, obsidian in converted cellars, vermilion from dying flares, midnight uniforms betraying, and violet suns sleeping at last, as I scream your name for a trace of ochre over these bleak ground zero. Days and nights don't matter much beneath glowing mercury vapor, trading stack bills for time, but seconds are wasted tuning frequencies to rebel radios, yet still your transmissions elude me. How does one fade with phantoms without a trace at high tide when we are track and tag trailing binaries on timelines, private galleries for public view? I am distressed for a signal. Where are you? Are you safe? Thinking of me when distant planets cannot navigate. The static and disruption are getting louder. Anarchists or Democrats, justice or propaganda, choosing sides till you and I are nothing but blood cells racing and pulsing for changes and pride flags at high mass. Yet my hopes for us, uh, with each week of voicemail burying months of hello. When will it be our last? Tell me, are we disconnecting? The frequencies reminds me of the difficulties in maintaining a genuine connection with friends or acquaintances, especially during social distancing where we don't meet up, uh, nothing exciting to talk about or there's no factor involved that would explain why two people or more will lose their interrelation harmony. Sometimes we just grow apart without us wanting to and often one of them is left wondering what happened to them. Okay, so my last poem before I wrap things up will be Anchor. Hold my hand, then my shoulders tremble at the burden of my arms. Hold my body when gravity loses its grip on my flesh. Be my eyes 
when mine are clouded and cloaked in darkness. Be my voice when the gale of conviction dissipates behind my lips. Taste, listen, feel everything in your bones, for when I come to reclaim my soul in your pockets, open your heart and pour the nectar of life to quench my hellish thirst. Share the sun marks of your skin so that I may flinch from the heat of summer again. Sing hymns and praises that beat the worships out of me, setting my souls ablaze to the drum circle of joy and chaos. Oh, dear friend, my right is always yours. I was never this way and will never stay the same. But sometimes I forget. I walk on two instead of four. I breathe with lungs instead of gills. Until the day I recall, be my anchor to my vessel adrift at sea. Anchor is dedicated to a dear friend of mine who's been through second team with me, like a ship anchor. Uh, I'm sure everyone here has somebody like your friends, a family, a community, like guiding you in your lowest points of life until you can stand up on your own two feet again. So this piece goes out to those wonderful people who stayed with us despite seeing the worst part of us. So um, that's all from me. Uh, thank you to uh, Rantai Art for this amazing platform. Okay. And I appreciate you all for tuning in. So do enjoy our next performances. Okay, Bye. okay. Thank you, Alison. Stay safe. Dan hidup